One of the tools that I'm so passionate about in my personal life and in my business, something that helps me heal my body, gives me access to clarity, is being able to understand how my nervous system works and how you can start to bring yourself into balance so that you can access more clarity, access your subconscious mind, be able to shift your beliefs and be able to really create your freedom-based life that feels like paradise. Aloha goddess. <laughs> I'm so happy that you're here. Today we are talking about our incredible body and our nervous system. And something that I'm so passionate about and is really an incredible tool that allows me to access limitless clarity and be able to heal my body and be able to really instantly bring my energy into a place of rejuvenation and my body into a place of healing is being able to understand how my nervous system works. So I'm going to give you a quick breakdown today in this video of how your nervous system works. This understanding gives me access to new perspectives, new mindsets, me access to my subconscious mind. It gives me access to limitless energy to clarity, to abundance, and to really the ability to heal my body, which is so magical and part of what I teach in Body Magic. So this is just a little taste and kind of an intro to how our nervous system works. The parasympathetic and the sympathetic is what we're gonna be talking about today. So we have the parasympathetic, which is the rest, digest, heal, Part of the nervous system and we have the sympathetic which is the fight or flight many of us have kind of heard about this fight or flight part of our nervous system and basically what happens when we access this part of our nervous system on a physiological level is that all of our extremities get blood blood goes into our our head so that our eyes can see more clearly so we can hear things we're more observant we're very perceptive of the outside we're very much in our masculine energy and we're very much on the defensive. We are ready for someone to attack. We are ready to defend ourselves. We're ready to run. We're ready to freeze. We're just prepared. And we're kind of prepared for the worst. This is a great part of our nervous system. It's really our survival instincts um, at their finest, but it is not a great place to be living all of the time because the parasympathetic is what governs our body's ability to heal. It's what governs our immune system and governs all of our major organs. So our heart, our lungs, our digestive system, everything is run by the parasympathetic. That's why we don't have to think about it. The, the sympathetic nervous system is very much connected to our conscious actions and the parasympathetic is very subconscious, which is why it can allow you to actually start to access the subconscious mind on a deeper level. What brings us into our sympathetic and what brings us into our parasympathetic? This is great information so that you can start to realize how much you might be operating in the sympathetic. And it's not really something that we consciously can shift back and forth between. Our body just naturally kind of when it's in the right environment will drop into this aspect of our nervous system. So what activates the fight or flight, the sympathetic? This is screens, watching screens. This is any, any sort of activity. So any sports, going for a walk, playing, any sort of game, anything where you're basically having to use your mind and use your conscious thinking to choose the next action. Anything where you're having to make decisions anything where you're having to really interact with other people at all. So any sort of conversation you're gonna be in your, maybe not like extremely in the sympathetic, but you will, that part of the nervous system will be slightly activated. Uh, even when you're reading, when you're, when you're taking in information, anytime that you're really being stimulated, anytime you're being stimulated, you are activating your sympathetic nervous system, which in turn creates stress hormones that rush to the body. Stress hormones are incredible for giving you energy, like in the blink of an eye, they're incredible for helping you push through big projects and helping you meet deadlines and study for tests and all these stressful things that we need to do in our day-to-day -day life. And they're incredible and they're amazing, but 
prolonged stress hormones can create adrenal fatigue, can create burnout, and can actually negatively affect your immune system and your metabolism. They call cortisol the belly fat hormone for a reason. So what activates your parasympathetic? Because you probably are thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm basically always in my sympathetic nervous system. Anytime you're driving, talking, walking, doing anything, consuming any content, providing content, like right now I'm in my sympathetic nervous system. So how can we access the parasympathetic? I'm gonna show you one of my favorite practices, which is restorative yoga. And I also have an incredible meditation for you. It's a yoga nidra meditation. If you haven't heard of yoga nidra, it is so incredible for so many reasons. I'll probably do a video just on yoga nidra and the benefits of it. If you check the description box, I will link to an instructional video to help you set yourself up in a restorative yoga pose. And I have also shared that yoga nidra meditation with you in the description box as well. So what are the things that activate the parasympathetic, the rest, digest, heal version of your body? And truly when I learned how to access these aspects of myself, I healed myself from insomnia, that I had had lifelong insomnia. I healed myself from a lot of stress and anxiety that I was experiencing at the time. I healed myself from pain that I was having in my body. And ultimately I've used these practices to heal myself from a traumatic brain injury, to heal myself from depression, and the list goes on and on. So when you understand how to drop your body into your parasympathetic, it's gonna be like you can take an eight hour nap in like 20 minutes is really what it feels like. It's so incredible. So these are the things that really activate the parasympathetic. Stillness, being completely still. Darkness, we're either wearing an eye pillow or creating a completely dark environment. Quiet, I really like the sound of the ocean, like waves, sometimes I'll play like wave audios or like some very soft ambient music or some uh, binaural beats or something. But ultimately you want it to be as quiet as possible, not like a lot of background noise. If your next door neighbor is doing construction, you probably want to wear earplugs. So a lot of times wearing earplugs can help you activate the parasympathetic because it just quiets all the noise. A safe environment, so feeling safe, feeling like you are, which this is probably a whole video in itself, being able to cultivate a feeling of safety. And last, but definitely not least, warm. So when it is quiet, when you are still, when you feel safe, when it is warm, and when it is dark, <laughs> then you activate your parasympathetic. You might be thinking like, oh, I pretty much only do this when I sleep. Even when we're sleeping, sometimes we are not dropping into the depths of the limitless possibilities that are available when you have access to the parasympathetic. Because there is so much light that we have on our electronics in our rooms. There's so much noise from the fan, from the AC, from the neighbor. There's so many factors that make us not feel safe, sometimes even in our own home. Oftentimes, people are not getting that deep restorative sleep and they're not even dropping into their parasympathetic while they sleep. And sometimes if you're an insomniac like I was, you have this kind of almost an unhealthy pattern around sleep. It's really hard for you to get to sleep. You really resist it. It's really uncomfortable. You have so many memories of tossing and turning and you almost want to distract yourself until you're just so exhausted that you just pass out. So then you might even have the TV on or music playing or something like that as well. Something that can help you start to learn how to access the parasympathetic and something that has transformed my life is restorative yoga. I'm gonna show you a little bit of what restorative yoga looks like right now as I do it on my lanai. As you can imagine, I feel incredible, so peaceful, so rested after that practice. And you know, sometimes I'll set gentle alarms so that I don't like fully fall asleep for like 
too long. You ideally wanna stay in each posture for about 10 to 20 minutes. And I've linked a video uh, below where I kind of demo how you can do this, even if you don't have like yoga bolsters and you don't have the whole setup like I had, you can just do it with props in your house and I will show you how to do that in the video. I've also linked to a yoga nidra meditation. I oftentimes do my yoga nidra meditation laying in bed. I like to put a pillow under my head and I put um, a big pillow or cushion underneath my knees so that my legs are slightly elevated and just get super comfy. Maybe use an eye pillow, maybe even use earplugs while I'm listening to the yoga nidra just to soften any other noise. And this practice has transformed my life. I could go on and on about the benefits of tapping into your parasympathetic. It's something I'm so passionate about. It's something that I teach in my body magic program. I'll leave a link for that below as well. You can go to kateparadise.com slash magic to find out more about that incredible space where I teach women how to heal their bodies and fall in love with the magic that's inside of them. And one of those aspects is the parasympathetic nervous system. Well, I hope that this knowledge has served you and I look forward to connecting with you very soon. This is Kate in Paradise and I see you soon.